We're here today with Lynn Wu. She's a Wharton Professor of Operations Information and Decisions, and she's going to be talking to us about her paper, Data Analytic Skills and the Corporate Value of Social Media. Lynn, thanks for being here. Sure. So first of all, could you give us a brief summary of the research? What were you trying to study here? Sure, absolutely. So the research is really to understand how firms derive value when they start using social media. And that's an important question because according to a recent CMO survey, and only 15% of executives can quantitatively say the impact of social media on their bottom lines. That means 85% of them do not. And 45% do not have any clue, both quantitatively or qualitatively, what the value of the social media is to their business. And that's even a bigger problem as social media spending are, is projected to double within the next three to five years. So understanding how firms derive value from social media is becoming a really important question. Now, how did you examine this question and what did you find? Yeah, so what we did is, what we, did is we, we collect a, a larger sample, the largest possible sample because before social media study often targets marketing related activities of firms. So here we just look in all the firms who ever had a you know, social media presence, in this case, a Facebook company page. Okay? And then we map all their stock mar uh, market value into, into our model to look at whether when the adopters start using social media, do their market value increase or decrease or stay the same. And what we found is that, on average, it, it, it is a positive relationship, but not when they adopt, but when they actually start using social media. And what's interesting is that the return is extremely heterogeneous, as in some firms derive a lot of uh, great value from using social media, some don't, and some even have a negative impact after they started using social media. And, that, and that's really interesting because we thought, well, what is really driving that, right? Why do some firms do so well with social media and some don't? And we're trying to understand this from a, from, from a perspective of an entire organization, not just the marketing department. And what we found is that it's really the data analytics skills embodied in their employees that are ultimately driving their return on social media. Now, when you say data analytics skills, like how does that, can you explain a little bit more about how that kind of keys into social media? Like what is it that these people with these skills are bringing to the table that's helping companies maximize the value from social media? Absolutely. So here the data skill we measure is really using the employee resume. So we called about like 50, 50 million resumes across the United States. And then we look at their resume. Do they have relevant data skills, like data mining skills, data centric and analytic skills? And what we found is that uh, this data skills has, cannot just be concentrate on the marketing department alone. At first we thought, oh, maybe, you know, since marketers are using advanced analytics, and maybe it's really the value came from there. What we found is exactly the opposite. That's really data skill across entire f spectrum of functions within the firm. That matters the most. That I mean, includes data skills in HR, in finance, in operation, in product development, in R&D. Only when data skill are distributed across all function aspects of the firm can firm derive greater, greater value. And if you think about it, it makes sense because social media data does not mean only for marketers, right? Mm -hmm. The data, the consumer preferences, consumer sentiment, and feedback can really be applied broadly to every aspect of firm's operation, right? An example would be Zara. Okay. Zara is great at tapping consumer preferences, and they are, you know, the, because they are they because they track consumers' preferences over time. They are they are actually introduced to uh, they introducing new products every two weeks, and some firms are turning their biggest Facebook fans into employees. So that can be great for HR functions as well. So you think of the wealth of social media data. And it can be really applied to every aspect of firm operation. And when those when it's function of within the firm, like finance, HR, and operation and product and product development, can make sense of these data and turn those data into strategies. And that's when you see the greatest value. So it's really not just about. It seems like the differentiating factor here is, first of all, not just adoption, but actually using it. But then not just actually using it, but knowing how to use it in a smart way. Exactly. 
Exactly. Now, were there conclusions that you found that were surprising to you? Absolutely. Um, you know, at first we thought the positive relationship, we thought, well, you know, some firms just naturally fit to use social media, right? If you're a consumer-facing firm, you have products, and uh, you, are, you, you need to know what users are doing, then it makes sense. So we thought most of these will be concentrating uh, the consumer products in retails or in, uh, in a, or high tech. But what we found was that actually the opposite. It's really the non-consumer facing firms that generates the most value. And that gets us thinking, oh really, maybe the social media data is really impacting every aspect of the firm's operation. The marketing outcome may be just tip of iceberg. And that's interesting. And also, we thought marketing department might be the benefiting the most when they have strong analytic skills. Again, we did not find that. We really find the concentration of uh, data skill within non departments, non marketing departments, but across all functions of the firms that ultimately drives the value. So now, if I am, if I'm a company, any kind of company, and I'm looking at this research, what do you think that companies can take from this in terms of being able to actually apply it to their operations? Absolutely. I think this may not just apply to social media per se, but any kinds of uh, data-centric decision-making, right? So we have search data, we have clickstream data, we have mobile data. All these data need some kind of sense-making. So having data analytics skill within a firm is becoming more important than ever. And it, you're not, I mean, you can't just hire a raw number of them and put them all in R&D or put them all in marketing. It's really they had to be distributed, decentralized across all departments. That's when you can actually get, uh, derive the most benefits. Now, what do you think, are there misperceptions, and I think you've talked about them a little bit, other misperceptions that you think this research dispels? Like, I think it really just goes to the fact of it's so important to have people to interpret your data or just to interpret your data as yeah. opposed to just having data. Yeah, absolutely. So I think translating data into strategies in every aspect of operation is, really, is the key. And uh, and it, it can have, a, it could potentially have effect on firm hierarchies, for example. Before you are developing a product, you may not necessarily need to ask your boss for permission. You just go to data directly, go to social media data, other type of data, and just say, oh, this is where it makes sense to do, to do this. And you just make that decision, decision on your own. And it also seems like it maybe sort of lends credence to the idea of maybe incorporating a data layer in departments or areas where maybe you wouldn't normally think that you should. Absolutely, right? For, um, people analytics, HR analytics is a, big, is a big deal. How do you use this data to find your, your next employees? It's something maybe it's, most firms have not thought about that what social media can do. Or you know, may, using the next social media data to generate the next uh, uh, next uh, product development or new product for for consumers that may not be not, that may be really useful as well. Now you said that some of the data that you found was that actually social media in some cases impacted companies negatively. Mm -hmm. Now was that companies that did not engage, like they just adopted, or companies that had didn't have as much data analytics skills? I mean, what was the thing that kind of made it a negative impact? Sure. Um, for example, if you just adopt and without using it, that's a negative effect. But the more negative effects really came from you spend a lot of time, energy, developing social media platform, and you don't really have the capability to make sense of data. So you make all this upfront investment into social media, but you don't really get a maximum return. As a result, you maybe have a negative ROI from social media. Now, what would you say, what do you think sets this research apart from other analysis that's been conducted on this topic? Absolutely. I think uh, one important factor is that we really look at all firms across various industries, in manufacturing and in mining, okay? not just consumer-facing industries. And so it's really a very large, comprehensive study on how social media affects firm value. And more importantly, we're not just looking at the, you know, the marketing outcomes or things that we maybe all of us know that our social media could impact, but other things that such a data skill and how they affect every aspect of the firm is not, is not something that we or the, you know, the other, pay, other research have really delved into. And how will you follow up this research? What's next? Oh, I think this is a really big emerging area on data analytics skills. So here we so show the impact on social media. I think it will be really interesting to see how data skill can affect various various other part of operations, such as innovation activities. What kind of innovation does uh, data skill engenders? Is it going to be incremental? Is it going to be novel? Is it going to be a brand new innovation that will change the world? So that's going to be really interesting to see. And now do you think, it does it lend credence to the idea that maybe data analytics 
analytics is going to be one of those just kind of basic level things that everyone's going to be expected to have, at least some level of data analytics skills. I mean, it seems like that's the direction we're moving in to some extent. I think he, I, I think it's possible. I think everybody have, sh should have some skills, but I think there still had to be some special specialized the. Uh, uh, specialized skills involved to really make sense of this data, to make sure, oh, this is really what's telling you. And because if you make the wrong strategy based on the wrong interpretation, that can be very detrimental to the firm. So again, somebody, people should have the ability to understand the results, but people who actually generate those results require some specialty, special trainings.